All right, good evening, lords and ladies. A happy Tuesday to you from the People's Champion, 21st Century Digital Boy, and your very good buddy in the mix, me, Shanghai Pete. Hope you're all having a lovely week so far and that you've been getting deep like a baby seal. Top story of the day is, well, nothing because the industry news has been pretty slow lately. Don't worry, we've got some fun stuff to get deep inside of regardless, so let's take a look. As some of you may know, from time to time, I like to take a moment to point out games that are super fucking sick because... Let's face it, far too often industry news is little more than a mire of hall monitor journalism and uniquely psychotic, depressing corpo antics. And with that being the case, it is more important than ever to point out the really, really good shit whenever it happens to pop up. So today, submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I offer you the suggestion of Everspace 2. PC Gamer, I think, put it best when they described this game as an arcade-style space sim meets third-person open-world interplanetary adventure. It's Diablo in space. Ah, uh, fuck yeah it is. Imagine Diablo, but instead of some tropey fantasy character, you're flying a spaceship. And instead of demons, you're blasting apart raiders, outlaws, space-based installations, and generally wreaking TIE Fighter-style havoc all over multiple solar systems. You even have an ult you can charge up. Killed mobs don't drop gear like shoulders, gloves, swords, or helms, but instead they drop shield systems, engines, custom paint jobs, rail guns, cargo storage upgrades, nanobot consumables, pulse cannons, etc. All the dark fantasy environments have been traded in for gorgeous nebulas, asteroid fields, wrecked ghost ships, stunning gas giants with huge ring systems, and more. It's a fucking blast. Everything you kill drops some sort of loot. Most wreckage or cargo containers have loot stuffed in them. Search that old derelict ship, loot. It could be socks, a Vulcan cannon, or maybe some rare shit you've never even seen before. Totally awesome. This style loot is the primary way that you get upgrades from main armaments to secondaries like missiles or heat seekers, but you can also buy stuff from various vendors and trading posts that you encounter out in the void. There's even a crafting system. To be honest, the amount of stuff that you can get and do can become overwhelming at times, sort of like the first time you played Diablo or Path of Exile, but the interface is very well designed and it gets intuitive pretty quickly. You also have a fucking level. Oh yeah, you level the fuck up. If you're like me, few things do it for you in action games like seeing numbers fly up as you hit stuff followed by a big fat plus XP number when you kill them and eventually a big glowing golden number when you advance to the next level. Like Diablo or Borderlands, your level gate keeps the power of gear you can equip as well as determining how tough the enemies and encounters you deal with get. More directly, it also affects your stats like weapon damage, shield recharge rates, engine boost effectiveness, and more. And the way it's tied to your gear acquisition and mission advancement actually makes for not only a very well-tuned but satisfying progression system, something that, for reasons I'll likely never understand, so many devs seem to have a hard time pulling off, I don't know why. Though the fact that this game started out in early access and is by a smaller team like Rockfish likely had quite a bit to do with it. Hmm. Another thing I love about this game is that it doesn't try to be a flight sim in any way. I love Elite Dangerous. I spent years of my childhood playing LucasArts classics like X-Wing, TIE Fighter, and, and even stuff like Descent Free Space, so I have lots of love for the sim genre, don't get it fucked up. But you gotta know when to do sim and when to go arcade, and this game knows its place. It's an arcade banger, and it nails it. You can easily target surface emplacements as you zoom by, zip through tight spots with just a flick of the thumbstick, and even do things like slowly position yourself behind floating meteors without it feeling like you're aiming a greased needle with your face. Similarly, there is no energy management, shield adjustments, or engine power routing here. Just press a button to boost, hold the trigger to fire, use consumables to heal. Very simple, very appropriate, and very fun. And to top it all off, this hoe is single player only, and it owns it proudly. I love that. Far too much emphasis is put on online-only games these days, and while they can certainly be fun, I love things like Dark Tide. Well, you know, my relationship with Dark Tide is complicated, but I almost always prefer a single-player narrative that I can immerse myself in and appreciate on my own as opposed to a game that requires me to rely on random internet idiots to have an enjoyable gaming experience. I'm only a few hours in, so I can't comment on the overall quality of the narrative, but so far, like the gameplay, it's simple but elegant and with great style. It's told in this sort of comic book motif with hand-drawn cutscenes featuring surprisingly decent voice acting as well. This is the main vehicle that propels you through the game with successive missions unfolding and unlocking as you play through the story. There's plenty of side quests too that you unlock by either organically coming across things like distress signals when traversing between zones at light speed or triggered by certain actions during missions. 
Since the main thrust of the game is very focused on the primary narrative, they can get a little samey though. I mean, you can only destroy the same kind of pirate bases so many times before it becomes a little more derivative than perhaps would be ideal, but in the grand scheme of things, it's a relatively minor gripe. Overall, Everspace 2 is a fucking banger from a genre I didn't even really know existed, and I'm here for it. If you notice the 2 at the end of the title and are wondering maybe if you need to play the first game to enjoy this, or maybe what the fuck the first game even was, good news, you do not at all. I knew nothing about any of that, and I'm having a blast. Ultimately, if you like Diablo and sci-fi shooters, but like me are sick to fucking death of Star Wars anything, or if you're a fan of stuff like Elite Dangerous but want something a little more arcadey and maybe narrative focused, or love the sound of Borderlands but in a TIE Fighter, check this shit out, it's fucking awesome. There is no Denuvo or DRM, so you can find it for free if you know where to look and if you're so inclined, though I'd encourage you to drop the 50 on it if you can afford it as this series was originally a Kickstarter project by Rockfish, they're a relatively smaller dev and I think they deserve the support. That is all for today's show, though. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thanks so much for chilling, spending a little bit of your free time with us tonight. We love you today. We love you all the way, and we'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, woke up, smoke a blunt, then I pass out. Pass, pass out. Huh? Woke up, what up, smoke a blunt, then I'm back down. Back, back down. What? Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, woke up, smoke a blunt, then I pass out. 